scapular position and motion. In the standing position, just relax, we're going to measure the position of the shoulder blades uh, from, this, from the backbone. And uh, I've got a tape, and then I've also got a small gonia, uh, uh, ruler here. And um, I usually prefer using the tape, but uh, just in case, it's, it can be a little quicker. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to choose your, the apex of the kyphosis, which is usually your T4 segment, and I've already counted down. One, two, three, four, and there's the apex right there. And so that should be T4, and just for, no, stand up nice and tall. And we're going to find the vertebral border of your shoulder blade. And you're going to come over here to the midline. You're going to use your ruler. And you're going to measure that distance seven and a half, maybe seven and three quarters on the uh, right. Same metric uh, on the left. And I'll have to get in front of the camera here a little bit five and a half. So we've got a little bit of scapular uh, asymmetry, the, the right being a little bit more abducted a little further away. And um, now Maria, I'll have you go ahead and, and bring your arms straight forward. Thumbs up, just like so. Now we're going to measure that same okay from T4. Let me get the midline there. Okay, vertebral border, make sure I haven't lost it. There we go. And 10 on the right, there's your vertebral border on the left, and 10 on the left. Okay, see under dynamic conditions when she's actively lifting the arms, they've become more symmetric. Drop your arms, please. Now I'm going to have you pinch, squeeze back. Careful when allowing your, you know, having asking your patient to squeeze back. You can see her middle traps tightening up right here. Make sure she does not arch or extend her spine. Does not arch or extend the spine. And um, I'll, I'll stick with the uh, small ruler and just hold that position, please. Find your your medial border. Find the midline. Find the two, and that's two centimeters on the right, and two centimeters on the left, and take a break. Okay, and so this is a, a um, demonstration of what's called scapular motion, and you can just relax. Scapular motion and position.